Viewer discretion is advised. Hello, everybody. The Lawn Gnome is here. Who's going to man the phones? Fuck the phones, Lloyd. Unless Carmen Electra calls for an emergency titty fuck, don't answer. <laughs> I just got back from the movies, guys, and I'm here to talk about one of, if not, the most anticipated movie for me in 2015, and that, of course, is Entourage, directed, written, and produced by Doug Ellen, the gentleman who gave us this wonderful eight-year run of a fantastic HBO show about four guys from Queens that make it big in Hollywood. I love this show so much, I love this movie a great deal, so much, in fact, that this show and film deserved a tag. Oh wait, there is a tag. As a matter of fact, I made it, and there's a link provided for it in the box below. This movie, I already saw a lot of the reviews on YouTube, and a lot of you have not seen the television show, but you still came out of that movie either liking it or loving it. There were truly no haters as far as I could tell. I know that the critics have been mashing it, but the fans and the people who have been going to see it have been enjoying it a great deal. This is someone who watched the show. I got roped into it in season three, but I did have the entire series on DVD, watched it multiple times already as someone who saw this show till the very end, saw that last scene at the end of the credits, I knew there was a movie on the way, and did I get exactly what I wanted as an Entourage fan? With a little bit of bias thrown in, oh hell yes. This movie has everything I wanted. A great story involving each Eric, Vince, Turtle, and Johnny Drama, of course, and throw in everybody else that you wanted to see was in this movie. Billy, Shauna, Dana Gordon, Lloyd, Melissa Gold, even Jonah's in this movie, and even a couple of guest appearances, because there's tons of guest appearances in this movie. So much, in fact, that they're just flying by. But people who had already been guests in the show, like Gary Busey, Bob Saget, even characters who appear in the seasons have actually shown up just to give the fans a little something for their time. And throw in a couple of additional people, like a great performance from Haley Joel Osment. Uh, yeah, time has not been good to Mr. Osment, but I will tell you something, he really killed it in this movie. To me, he was the real Johnny Drama of this story, you know? A guy who was a big thing at one point in time, fell off the face of the earth, and then just came back to do something truly spectacular. He really had me going. But everybody is saying that Ari is the best part of the movie. Oh yes, he had so many great lines, as Jeremy Piven always had in the show. One of the few faults about this movie, and there are very, very few, but the first one, unfortunately, is Ari. Because as someone who watched the show, I've heard worse things come out of his mouth than what he actually spewed on camera on the big screen. I mean, I was surprised they didn't really go balls to the wall with Ari Gold's character because there were so many things that I remember laughing at, but they were not as what I had heard in the show. Another thing I didn't like was I really didn't appreciate the story that involved Eric, especially because of the fact that if Cologne's in the story, played by Emmanuel Cherky, who has been playing her since season two, and I really didn't like their whole relationship. I mean, based on how it ended in the show, I really thought that there was going to be something really wonderful. It's them just fighting again, over and over and over again. I was really upset about that. There were even some points where I thought that his story got too extreme, and he's my favorite character in the show. I love Kevin Connolly in this movie, and for some strange reason, even though the movie is really about Vince and Johnny, I kind of felt that they were a little distant. From it was something that I was expecting to see in this story, and yeah, you can say what you will. It's a two-hour long episode of Entourage. You know something? As an Entourage fan, that's exactly what you want your Entourage movie to be about. Will there be a sequel? I don't know, but it definitely is open for one. Is it necessary? No, but will I see one? Yes. All I will say is that when I walked out of that theater with my sister and her husband, we were all wishing that the Target across the street from the movie theater was selling copies of the Entourage movie just so we could go pick them up, take them home, and watch the movie a second time before we all called it a night. 
I will say that this was definitely worth the full admission. I loved this movie. I can understand why some people may not like this movie or may think that it's just so-so. Because of those little reasons, I am not going to give this movie a perfect score, but it is definitely the most fun that I've had in the theaters. Mad Max Fury Road is still the best experience, but Entourage is definitely my most fun experience, and I am going to be giving Entourage three and a half out of four. So thank you very much for watching everybody. If you want to throw in some more comments, please throw it into the box below. If you haven't seen the show, guys, you will want to watch the show after you see this movie. So I'll see you in the next one, and actions speak louder than words.